Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content that we're throwing up. And uh, make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And yeah, let's begin. What's going on guys, this is Rob, and we are once again setting our sights on taking out the mightiest beings in the universe as our series on how to kill superheroes focuses on one of the strongest characters in DC Comics, John Jones, better known as Martian Manhunter. So, how to kill Martian Manhunter, set him on fire. Thanks for watching guys, peace! <laughs> Now, before we figure out how to kill the Martian Manhunter, we're going to go over his origin and then take a look at his powers to see why it's actually a lot harder to kill him than you believe it is. So Martian Manhunter was first created and appeared in Detective Comics number 225 in 1955. Now, as you probably guessed, the Martian Manhunter hails from the planet of Pluto. No, it's not actually a planet, but Martian Manhunter hails from the planet Mars, where he served as one of the planet's law enforcement agents, commonly known as Manhunters. Now, one day, John is transported to Earth by a beam built by a scientist named Saul Ertl, who dies of shock immediately upon seeing him. This was unfortunate for John, as Dr. Ertl was the only one capable of operating the beam, and so John was stuck on Earth. Now, on the plus side, John's capable of shapeshifting, and so he disguises himself as a human and adopts a human name, which by a stroke of incredible luck happened to be the exact rhyme of his Martian name. So John begins a career as a detective and a superhero and would go on to be a founding member of the Justice League of America. Now his origin was rebooted when DC launched the New 52 so that John Jones actually came to Earth voluntarily to learn how to be alone, which went against his Martian nature as the Martians as a species were all telepathically linked. And so John needed to learn this skill so that he could lead the Martians, but when he returned to his home planet, he found it a desolate wasteland with no signs of life, which led him to dedicate his life to exacting revenge for his fallen people. Now, as far as his powers go, Martian Manhunter is one of the strongest characters in the DC universe, and according to the JLA by Grant Morrison, is actually stronger than Superman. His punches were able to harm Superboy Prime, one of the most powerful versions of Superman to ever exist. Superboy Prime was also able to alter reality with his punches, so the fact that Martian Manhunter was able to affect him is pretty freaking impressive. Now, he's also able to fly at speeds that allow him to keep up with Superman and the Flash. He also possesses insane durability, having taken punches from some of DC's heaviest hitters, as well as a regenerative healing factor that allows him to quickly recover from whatever damage he sustains. And so it's probably out of the question for us to overpower Martian Manhunter or try to kill him through a purely physical means, since he can take an insane amount of damage, almost certainly more than we'll be able to dish out. Now, in addition to his superhuman physical characteristics, Martian Man Hunter can also shapeshift in whatever form he can imagine and can alter the density of his body to be either super dense or intangible. He's also among the strongest telepaths in the DC universe with the ability to read the mind of every single person on Earth at the same time. He's also able to shoot powerful energy beams with immense destructive power from his eyes. And so bearing all this in mind, we can see just how difficult killing the Martian Manhunter is because he's an incredibly powerful character. But it's our job, so how do we do it? Well, let's first address the answer that's probably obvious to anyone familiar with Martian Manhunter, his well-publicized weakness to fire. This has been a staple of the character in some form or fashion for most of his existence. Now, this has sometimes been depicted as vulnerability or weakness to fire, and sometimes simply as a fear of fire. And sometimes he's only vulnerable to fire that's magical in nature. His relationship with fire really just varies depending on who's writing him at the time. And I think currently, he's simply just afraid of fire because the entire Martian race was destroyed by it. He isn't actually vulnerable to it. But I'm sure when you clicked on this video, the first thing that crossed your mind was just kill him with fire. <laughs> Duh. And I don't blame you guys for thinking that because it's the obvious answer and it would definitely work because we saw Martian Manhunter kill with fire in the first issue of Final Crisis in 2008. He was literally just set on fire and it was kind of funny. Not overly funny, but kind of funny. What was really funny was during Tower of Babel where like they go to the forest to try to find Martian Manhunter and like there's a great big huge forest fire and he's just like running around screaming on fire. It was a little comedic. It wasn't supposed to be, but it was. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to say that I think it's funny a person being on fire and running around screaming. That's not funny. But Martian Manhunter, it was funny. Uh, he was also killed by Superman's heat vision in the Injustice comics, which aren't really in continuity. The characters in that series seem to be pretty much equivalent to their main universe counterparts, albeit their powers and strength fluctuate a little bit. And so this would also be a possible way to kill Martian Manhunter if we chose to. And again, referencing the Tower of Babel, Batman's plan for Martian Manhunter was to use fire. So if that's Batman's plan, we know it's gonna be pretty much foolproof. But for this video, I wanna go beyond the obvious and be a little less cliche. So is there anything other than fire that we can use 
to our advantage? Well, it's commonly stated that fire is the only weakness Martian Manhunter has, and that he's invulnerable otherwise. But is that true? Well, the answer is no. There is one other substance to which Martian Manhunter has an acute weakness, and although it's not as well known as his weakness to fire, it's still produced devastating effects. And that substance is Chacos. Now, if you're not familiar with Chacos, they are a chocolate sandwich cookie that exists in the DC universe that are very similar to, but legally distinct from Oreos. And Martian Manhunter is addicted to them. Literally, they have an addictive effect on Martians. In fact, he loves them so much that Booster Gold and Blue Beetle played a prank on him by buying up all the Chacos from all the stores in the area and then just not giving them to him. But this prank backfires in a major way as Martian Manhunter completely flips out. His shape shifting goes out of control and he starts destroying the city. And the longer he went without Chacos, the less intelligent he became until he was eventually just a mindless being destroying everything in his path. Eventually, he got some Chacos and purged his body of the addiction, but it then became a sentient being that he had to destroy. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, how can we use this to kill Martian Manhunter? Well, I don't know. Maybe we can just sit a mountain of Chacos in front of him and he'll eat so many that his pancreas just shuts down. I mean, do Martians have pancreases? Or maybe we just leave a trail of Chacos that leads him into a fire pit. And yeah, that's technically using fire to kill him. So in a way, you probably didn't expect that when you clicked on this video. And that's what I'm going for here, to come up with a fun and entertaining way to kill your favorite superhero. <laughs> that's the only thing I can really think of, right? Like just have a trail of Chacos and he's just like eating and then following them and it's like, oh, fire! And then he just burns alive and then he dies. I'll be honest, I would read that story. I think it'd be amazing, right? Like, like it's just, it's just like a one-off, right? DC Showcase presents tricking Martian Manhunter into like burning himself alive. It'd be amazing. <laughs> but with that being said, guys, we're gonna bring this video to an end. If you have a better way to kill Martian Manhunter, post it down in the comment section. I would love to hear it. And yeah, I will catch you all later. Peace.